Hey guys, today we're going to show you how we re-spool our high temperature filaments onto our metal spools here in the shop. I'm Rob. And I'm Jay. And we're going to show you that right now. Okay, so metal spools. You might be asking why do I need to re-spool my filament? Well, here at Vision Miner, we specialize in high temperature thermoplastics and most of these plastics come on spools that are made of a material which will melt at a certain temperature, usually about 110 to 120 Celsius. Now, for these filaments, you actually have to dry them at 120 Celsius or more. If you want to fast dry, you got to do 150 Celsius. And at those temperatures, most spools just start curling and warping and then, you know, you either lose filament or you have to replace the spool anyway. So we made these custom metal spools for our shop just so we could dry filament with peace of mind and they work great, and they're actually better than your average spool, and I'll be getting into that in just a little bit. A couple quick facts about the spool is it is designed like a master spool, so you can take either side off and then take your filament, slot it on, put the other side back on, and then you're done. Now, if you don't have master spool and you're actually taking another filament spool like this, then there's a process for that as well. Okay, so there's a couple tools you're gonna need. Number one is a drill. Any standard drill is gonna work great for this. And then we have this custom filament spooler. Now this is a threaded piece that basically just grabs onto both sides of the spool, holds it in place so that it moves with the drill. Uh, next, you're gonna want a friend or something that you can hang the full spool on. So today it's gonna be me with an extra long screwdriver. Uh, and then, of course, a glove. Jay, why do you want a glove? Uh, you can burn your hands uh, once you grab on the filament because you, when, when you spool uh, the filament onto the middle spool, you want to put some tension on, on, on it. And then if, uh, if you don't have the gloves on, you can burn your, your fingers or your hands. Friction burns. Yep. Nobody's friend. So, all right, we're going to dive right into it. We've got a spool of Intamps' Peak right here. Uh, and uh, this month, depending on when you're watching this video, you can actually get a free spool of this with the purchase of a FunMat HT, and we always throw in our nanopolymer with the machines we sell. So, we'll take this thing. Jay's putting on the filament winder spooler. Okay, I'll take this one here. Run here. Now, once we get this secured, we're gonna want a way to secure this end of the filament onto the spool. Now sometimes you can just stick a bunch in there through a couple different holes and it will um, it will stay on. So I'll show you that. Hang on, just hold that upright and I'll show them that one. So we made a couple different options with this spool. You can start it and actually stick it through these areas. Show it to the camera. So you can stick it through there and then it'll be secure. Uh, but there's another way to do it that doesn't leave this little dangler right here. You getting that, Matt? Awesome. So the other way is actually Jay's favorite method. Now, what do you do, Jay? I uh, usually use a torch to bend um, just the end of this filament. So you're gonna make a little hook, right? Yeah. So just heat it up just a little bit, make it soft. All right. Bend it. Let it cool down. Is that good? Give it a blow. Yep. Perfect. All right, and then shove it in this little hole here so we it won't come off. We designed the center hole with a slot like your standard spools so that you can just slot it down in and then it comes out of the spool and spools up really nice. Yeah. So then uh, Jay's gonna get the glove on and I'm going to take this spool. Now, you do wanna keep it tight so on full spools like this, be aware, it can fall off the edges when it loosens up. Uh, definitely be aware of that. You can lose a half a spool that way and have to re-spool it by hand. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to hold it on here with a little friction. Yep. I'm actually going to use a microfiber towel on this side too just to keep my hands, oils and whatnot off of the filament. And I'm going to hold it like that. Give it a little bit of friction and Jay's ready to go. Yep. Now when you spool it first, you want to go slow. You don't want that end to come off of the spool. And then once you get couple rotations in, you can start going faster. And then you want to go back and forth so that the filament is uh, going on there evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know. And I'm watching him this whole time so that I know where he's at. If he needs to stop real quick, I'm gonna stop this filament over here. Now this is a little bit harder when you don't have a second person. 
but you can always put this on something that has friction already so that it stops automatically. Now we're using the one kilogram spool Jay's got right there. We do have these spools in 500 gram, one kilogram, and two kilogram sizes. If you've got a big spool you need to use, we got you covered. Ooh. Yeah. Are we almost there? Oh, we're about halfway. Okay. You could even crank the speed. Ooh, baby, here we go. It's getting hot. Yeah. About a little bit. Slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. We still got about 200 grams. Here we go. Well, we still got a bit left. Could show a time lapse of this. Like it looked like it took 10 seconds. <laughs> All right. Can you put attention a little bit? Yep. Put a little bit of tension. Not too much. What happened? Came loose. Oh, it came loose. Yep. Tighten that right back up and keep it going. All right, last line. All right, cool. Slow, 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 slow. All right, and they'll see that end will come off of the spool and then you'll have the end here. So it's really important to slow down when it's almost empty so you don't lose this end. Okay, I got it. All right, there you go. Now, we designed this spool also with you guys in mind, with ourselves in mind, really, and we put holes all the way around the entire spool so that no matter where your filament ends up, you're gonna have a quick and easy spot to secure that down so your spool doesn't just lose itself when you're drying it or storing it or whatever. It really makes it easy, makes for a good time. And then, you just take it off, and you're pretty much good to go. Take that thing off and boom, here we go. Now we have a spool of peak that is ready to be dried at whatever temperature we want without worrying about the spool melting. All right, so Jay, how do you like our metal spool? Oh, it's awesome. With this uh, metal spool here, I can actually put it in the oven uh, without melting the filament spool itself. Uh, happened a couple of times when I put the, uh, the regular uh, filament spool in there. Forgot to turn yeah. the temperature down. <laughs> and, uh, it ate the spool. So <laughs> we got a couple pictures of that. We'll throw in. Um, yeah. So it really comes down to high temperature filaments, or if you master spools, you know, it's made out of 6061 aluminum and it's hard anodized. So there's no powder coating on here or anything. It's not going to flake stuff onto your filament as you're printing. No worries about that. Uh, we use them every day here in the shop. And we've got bundle packages on the site too, where you, if you're running a print farm or maybe you're running several materials, you want a couple of these on hand, we've got whatever you need from our shop to yours. Uh, that's pretty much all I got. Jay, you got any other comments? All right, good. Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> well, if you like stay the video, healthy out there. <laughs> yeah, stay healthy. If you like the video, hit, a, hit the like button. It helps us out. Hit subscribe and have a positive rest of your day. We'll see you on the next video.